Hello. Hi. Listen, there's, uh, I, I'll explain. I'll explain. First thing, if I'm gonna sit centered, That's better. If I'm gonna sit centered, I'm going to move the microphones to the center. So this should sound better <laughs> than it did in the first minute. Hi. So here's here's the um here's the thing. Here's here's the thing. Um, Mal, Mal left. I'll talk about that in a second. But before she left, we didn't pull the green screen up, and that is a two-person operation. So... We have... we. I, I can't. I need a second person to pull the green screen up. So we have to have green screen breakfast stream. Mal's currently on a train. And you don't have any friends. I mean, I don't like to ask people to, like, hey, come over here in the morning and deal with this. It's not... It's not a big deal. It's fine. Anyway, good morning. Um, isn't the green screen... Sorry, when I say up and down, the green screen is down because the green screen comes from above. So that's down. If I put the green screen up, the green screen goes away. That's what I, that's what I mean. Uh, Mal's on a train. Mal is on... She, yeah, actually, right now, yeah, she's on a train. She's not on a train for, like, a lot longer, but she's on a train. Um, she is heading to Florida to spend time with her family, uh, which is exciting, but also her grandma is going to be there, so that's, like, super exciting. Because, uh, it's the first, um, it's the first time either in a long time or possibly ever that her grandmother's been on a plane. I can't remember, because I had remembered it like, ah, it's been like 30 years or something since her grandma's been on a plane. And Matt was like, I think maybe she's never been on a plane. And I'm like, oh. Anyway, she's almost 96. So she's, she's a little older. This is iPad grandma, grandma yes. So, um, she's gonna be there. Carly and Kyle are going to be there. Like, a lot of Mal's aunts are going to be there. So it's kind of a big family thing. Mal wasn't sure if she was going to do it or not, because it was so soon after Japan. And she was kind of fretting about that before Japan. And I was like, you can, you can make this decision after Japan. Like, you don't have to decide now. Because she was worried she'd be, like, too tired or jet-lagged. So she's like, okay. So she got back from Japan on Friday, and then Saturday she was like, yeah, I do want to go. And I was like, let's go for it. So she she booked a train. So she's heading down there. I'm not going to see her for a bit. She's going to be down there basically the whole week, which means that uh, streams this week will be different. Come on over, bud. Hey, pal. Let's have a snack. Be the bane of all of your friends with Tiny Eddie's gluten-free microfiber slices. Don't you love it when you're ordering something off of a menu at a restaurant and gluten-free is in quotes? Doesn't that inspire a lot of confidence? <laughs> uh, 1060 from Anise. 
He says, Eddie, what snack is Steven having since he's not currently under mouse supervision? In other news, it's it's my four-year subversary, but work is stressing me out. Please send help. Good vibes. Good vibes. I, I, I understand the, the phrase, work is stressing me out. <laughs> In a, in a big personal way, so I'm wishing you well. And congrats on the subversary. Be the bane of all your friends with Tiny Eddie's gluten-free microfiber slices. Yeah, this is... It's Chaz, Chaz was like, so... He's just eating towels. This does just sound like towels. I bet Thomas would eat a towel. If you dared him and said, I'll give you $5, I think he would eat it. Like a small towel. I bet he'd do it. Uh, I, I got more stuff to talk about. I'm going to get through alerts first. But that's the reason That's the reason there's a train background. is because the green screen is down, and it has to be down because I can't put it up. So I needed to choose something. So I found a uh, royalty-free image of a train because I was like, oh, a mouse on a train. So that's... Connected. That's, that's, now you know all of the things. We had 26 months from Umami Meow, 44 months from Kayla Crisp 88, 48 months from Anise. Congrats on the four. Again, Haley, I, I have friends. When I, when I think of the number of friends that live here, it's, I mean, if I include Mao, it's eight Eight. So many. I've never seen them. <laughs> 44 months from Jacebook. Uh, 33 months from Will Peters. 66 from Chrissy G. 51 from Chill Days. 32 from Shark Stole. Seemingly just gifted to sub to Nintendo Nitwit. We've got 24 months from Potato Chips. What? Congrats on the two. Technically seven, you counted Jepson. <laughs> Whoops, didn't mean to count Jepson. Forgot. Seven friends. I'm 1600 from Goldlang says, can you have friends as a cult? I would argue that the, the fellow cult members may be closer than friends. Maybe. I don't know. I've never been in a cult. <laughs> not, not, not sure exactly how it works. I'm going to be seeing Jepson tonight. Jepson's been out of town for a while. Um, because when we went to Japan, uh, Jepson was like, ah, everyone's leaving. Peace. And then he left too. Um, but he's getting back into town today. Yeah, today. Oh, I have to pick him up. That's right. I have to pick him up sometime this evening, so I'll be picking him up tonight. And Dan's been out of town. And Dan gets back into town tonight, but I think Chaz is picking up Dan. They're coming in at different times, so we're splitting that responsibility. Yeah. People are leaving and people are coming into town. People are doing both. Uh, we got four to bits from Radio Dread says, Troun, 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 Troun. Train has hype if clown has bits. I just combined train and clown as Troun. Oh no, it's the Troun clean. Listen, we're all doing the best we can, and I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> oh, the Trown Clane. 31 months from Master of Darken. Uh, four months from Three, three Cho, three Cho Tree Keeper. 52 months from Snowy Satoru. 18 months from Apollonius. 27 months from Screaming Salad Radresses. 18 from Microwave Dallas Dare. 10 from Cosplay Theory. 39 from Boop Snoot. 59 from Darbicus. 30 from Sammy Weiss. 52 from Sacroselicus. 67 from Marble 410. 
Three and a bit from Screaming Salad Roger says, it says, went shoe shopping at, uh, on Friday and only found one option. I'm not picky, it's just my shoe size, 12 wide women's, is extremely hard to find in person. Anyway, I hate shoe shopping and I'm sending good vibes to all. Oh, I relate to that in such a big way. That sounds like every time I went shoe shopping um, when I was younger. And I guess to an extent, a little bit when I'm older too, but it's a little, I'm having better luck now. When I was younger, like when I was in, um, when did it start? Eighth grade? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. Um, my feet are really large. And uh, the way it used to work is um, we always got shoes at like, We'd go into it. We go into a shoe store, and we'd just be like, "What size? How many size? You know, 14s or 15s do you have?" And they would bring out like one pair, because like the last size you can get in a store is 13. Like typically, shoe shoe stores stock up to 13, and then they'll have like a few pairs of 14s or 15s. So sometimes I would go into a store and be like, "Can I see your 15s?" And they would bring out like one pair. But the good news is sometimes they were really cheap. So that worked out. I wear a size 14, but I wore a size 15 in Nike. And I wore a lot of Nikes whenever I was growing up, so my shoe size was 15. But now I wear New Balance, because both of the shoes I have is New Balance. I kind of think I need new shoes. I'm not sure. I, w I took my, um, my running shoes to Japan because they're for walking around, and I was going to put you know, 50 miles on them. And uh, I'm glad I did that. They're super comfy. But when I came back, uh, I, I was wearing my other shoes, my normal shoes, and they feel weird. Something, I'm not sure what's up. Something in the right foot, it feels like the arch is higher in the right foot, in the right shoe. I don't know. I've had them for a long time, so... It could be time to get new shoes. I don't know. Anyway. That's my little detour anecdote. We got 54 months from Fry's Pikachu, 22 from Devens, 100 bits from Colton KP, 3 months from Tyler Barf, 18 months from Haste the Day 86, 64 months from Missing No Leader, 63 from Lunagazer, 50 months from Laylith 3. And 300 bits of microwave Dallas Harris says, I have to go to a specialty shoe store to talk with the shoe experts because I have such high arches. Gotta say, it does wonders. If you can get shoes that fit really well, they feel good. I know that that's like a dumb thing to say, but like, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Whenever, um, whenever I went to get the running shoes... Uh, we went to the New Balance store. I have New Balances otherwise, but I just ordered them online because I found them for like 40 bucks. And I was like, yep. Uh, I actually have two pairs of those. I have a pair that I wear outside and I have a pair of indoor only New Balance shoes that I have never worn outside. And I wear them exclusively for playing DDR. So I actually got two pairs of those shoes when I got them. Um, but when I went to get the running shoes, they have, they, they, they real. They have like a science, man. They they got like a machine. You can you. They'll get you good shoes. I love that. Also, if I need if I need shoes, I could theoretically wear those DDR shoes, but then they would no longer be indoor only shoes, and I don't want that. So I don't know. I'm gonna mess around with the shoe today maybe just to see if I can figure out what's wrong with it and then at some point maybe get a new shoe um oh 300 from uh salad radar says it says as a size 12 wide it's more often that stores just don't have any options for me and women's so I have to get men's funny you mentioned new balance though the shoes ended up uh I ended up getting more new balance I'm glad you found something although I definitely understand that feeling of like, ah, there is nothing for me. <laughs> and like, increasingly I'm, I'm learning about, <laughs> increasingly I'm learning about my body and that my body is like um, a strange shape, not like one of the default shapes. 
and uh, trying to find clothes that like fit real well is hard. Um, the, sh the, the pants that I ended up getting are real good, but it's still, I can't like just buy a random shirt. I mean, I can, but if I want a shirt that like fits me really well, I, I'm still in the process of like figuring that out. Medium tall seems to do the best, but they do, you can't just walk into a store and be like, show me your medium tall shirts. And they'll be like, no, that's not a thing. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I have a snack I want to eat. Kep is... Hold on, buddy. I meant to give this to Mal um, before she left, but I forgot. This is a chocolate chip cook cookie from uh, 7 and I Holdings in Japan. 7-Eleven. They're very good. I'm going to eat this because Mal is gone now and can't have it. Haley says, I have told you about the stores that offer medium tall. I don't have any recollection of that. I recall the pants talk, but I have no right. We went shopping in one for pants. Duluth has medium tall shirts. They also, they also. Oh, okay. Well, mm, so here's the thing, and it's not that you're, it's, it's, it's not that you're wrong. Um, it's just that I would, I would like to go look because I've found that there's a few places that offer large tall shirts. Like that seems to be where like tall starts, but like medium tall is like far less of a thing. And the reason I know is that I've been looking into like shirts online and uh, like you, you can get lots of like large tall shirts, but trying to find like a medium tall shirt is like really, really hard. It's it, the, the likelihood of finding it drops down immediately. But yeah, I did not remember that Duluth had that. So I would, I would go look. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Mmm, good cookie. Really good. Anyway, I'm on a train. Well, I guess I'm not on a train. I'm like right outside a stopped train. Forever. Mm. I'm train adjacent. That's a good cookie. I really do like that. Haley, I I I believe you. I'd be willing to check that out. At some point. Maybe we could go look at that. Because Haley and I are supposed to get together and, and try and find um, a bike helmet this week. Remember the bike? Remember when I bought a bike and the next day Mal tested positive for COVID? And then I had COVID? And then I had COVID for like three weeks? And then I still felt sick? And then we went to Japan. Yep. Yep. That was great. Haley also got a bike and hasn't managed to ride it yet. Because she has to saw part of her bike off. <laughs> it's not a lie. This is decaf coffee. I wanted something bitter if I was gonna have a cookie. She does have to saw part of her bike off. She can do it. She's capable.
Haley got a uh, recumbent bike, like a bike that you 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 sit in and like the steering is like down here, and it's too, the frame is too long and it can be adjusted by like cutting off part of the bike. It sat like it makes more sense when you see it. It makes more sense when you see it. Because when you see it, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I understand how that would work. Um, and, I mean, Haley's right. Haley says, every bike store around here is ableist or something. And I don't mean that jokingly. It is really wild. Because Haley asked a lot of people about it. And they are like, oh, we can't do that. And, like, I looked at the bike and I'm like, anyone could do this. This is definitely a thing a bike shop could do. If they're working on bicycles and they're making adjustments to bicycles, they could do this bike. Haley says, every store I've messaged refused to even look at my bike or talk down to me. It was kind of wild. Like, I feel like if they saw the bike, they'd go, oh. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, fed up with that. Yeah, Haley's just going to do it herself. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we need we need helmets, because we don't have helmets, so we're going to try and maybe get a helmet this week. Um, and then I could actually, like, ride the bike. That'd be great. And then I don't know if Haley has time or wants to saw the bike this week, but we could try doing that, so... Yeah. Maybe do that. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, shirts. Yeah. If we're getting together to do that, we might be able to, like, look for tall shirts. I only have, uh, I have, okay. I do have some large, tall shirts. Because, uh, I have them from, like, I think Christmas? I think my mom got me some large, tall shirts for Christmas. And they, they fit pretty well. Um, they're, uh, button-ups. And, like, a button-up can be looser, and that's fine. And I only have two medium tall shirts that I ordered from Blank Style like months ago. I did a vlog on them. And I just, I never ordered anymore because I got busy with things. But I ordered two different kinds. And of, of the two, there's one that I, I think I like better. So I've, I've considered ordering some of those and I just haven't gotten around to it. But they're all like solid color shirts in like four different colors. So I would like to try and find something else. So... Good boy. Uh, Alright. Uh, we had 36 months from Zatoichi. That's a three. And four months from Not Dragon 23. Thank you. Um, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm jumping around a lot today. So streams are going to be different this week because Mao is not here. Mao is spending time in Florida. Um, obviously today, it's just me. Uh, last time we did a Tuesday stream, we finished Moon. And uh, those are all out on the VOD channel. I think Dan is getting ready to start cutting those for Steven plays. And that's exciting. Um, so my plan today, and I still say plan because I wanted to do it last night, but jet lag has been hitting me so hard and I've, I've, had, I've struggled sleeping that uh, I, I crashed last night and could not get things set up that I wanted to. Uh, my plan is to uh, set up the PS4 and play Loco Roco. Because I guess at this point it's been years. Years ago, I tried to do a uh, stream. Me and Mal were gonna stream Loco Roco together. And when we started to stream it, we got like one level in and Mal was like, I'm so motion sick, I'm gonna die. And I was like, So we're not playing Loco Roco. So now that uh, she she is in Florida, and I have to do something by myself, um, I think it's a good time to do Loco Roco because Loco Roco is a fantastic video game. It has some of the best music in any video game. I would rank it up there with like Tulip and Katamari, um, and also put it in that category because it's very quirky and strange. It's a great soundtrack. It's so good. It's not a super long game. Um, 
It's really unique. I think you play the entire game with like two buttons. I'm pretty sure. I think you just need the 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 shoulder buttons and that's it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that today at 1 p.m. Eastern. So that's th 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 three and a half hours. Yeah. So three and a half hours. Uh, I <laughs> hopefully I will have everything set. I gotta get the PS4 is still in the cabinet. So I gotta get that, and I gotta get the cables for it. Um, and I gotta get a, a, a controller charged. This morning I grabbed the controller, and the uh, the port that's on a PS4 controller is weird. It's like a USB micro type B or something. And like, I don't, I have those cables, but I don't have plentiful versions of them. I don't have a ton, and trying to find those is hard. So I have to like try and locate a cable so I can charge a stupid controller. Don't judge ports. <laughs> we're just we're living in the future when everything is using type C. That's great. And like even like everything's using type C, but then also like Thunderbolt uses type C and is backwards compatible. So like Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 USB 3 or whatever, like they all use C, and that, that's great. That's d d great. I love that. Oh, I, that's the best thing. Coffee. Anyway, the PS4 doesn't, so I have to locate one of the stupid control the controller cables. But I'm, which USB? Like, well, Haley, I have it here. I just have to figure. Like, what I have to do is I have to, f mm, I have several locations where there's just like a mess of cables and I have to find where those mess of cables are and then f find a cable in those mess of cables. There's way too many cables in the home. Isn't the game also on PS5? I don't think so. I checked because uh, I went... I typed in Loco Roco and went to like the PlayStation thing, the p p online store on the, on the browser, and it just said PS4. So I think it's just, I think it's just PS4. I'm pretty sure. Uh, what do we got? We got 100 bits from Grackle Peck. Peck, thank you. The PS5 is backwards compatible. What do you mean? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can the PS5 play anything that the PS4 can play? Seriously? Such a fake gamer. <laughs> I mean, no, I didn't know this. Man, I, y'all, you do, you, you do know that I'm like old, right? <laughs> I'm old. I don't know all of these things. Loco Roco is a digital game. It's not a disc. So. Is it possible? It sounds like it is. Like, I can just plug up the PS5, which uses USB-C, and I can download Loco Roca and play it on... Okay. Neat. Well, shoot. I'm gonna do that. Intelligent One says, Did you not even try? I mean, no. Like... The, the PS5 is in the living room, because Mao had been playing Persona 5 on it. And, um... You know, I I didn't know that that stuff was backwards compatible, and I looked it up on the browser, and it just says PS4. And I was like, ah, it doesn't say PS5, so it must not work. Neat! That's great, because I then I don't have to find all the cables for the PS4. I can just bring the PS5 upstairs, and that's infinitely easier. I love that. Cool. Cool. How does it feel to have so many problem solvers for you? It's great! It's great! If I have a question, I can ask y'all. I can't... Like... <laughs> Tom says, y'all forget. We, we had to have different systems for Super Mario 64 and Melee. Life was hard. I... It, uh, there's a lot 
the video game stuff. There was a time in my life where like I knew every single thing about every video game everything. And like that, I, I'm not there anymore. And I'm fine not being there. Like that's totally, that I'm okay with that. I used to know everything about every console, all of them, because I had them all. And I was intimately familiar with all, and now I'm like, eh. <laughs> I don't need to know this information anymore. And DL says, I used to feel the same way about movies, but no more. Like, it's, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with not having that information. I like video games. Um, what better knowledge have you replaced it with? Uh, maybe cameras. I probably know more about cameras than some some of the video game stuff now. Chad says, I knew everything about computer hardware from 2000 to 2010, and now I know nothing. It's great. Yeah, I... I used to know everything about Pokemon, too. Like, really, really intimately. But then they made more. Now it's too hard. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I obviously love video games. You can tell by all of the train behind me. Um, but as far as, like, knowing every little thing, no. Now I just want to play interesting things. And that, that works out really well. When Mal's like, Moon is great. I'm like, let's play Moon. Alright, what was I doing? I was reading things. And I was going to talk about something else. What was the other thing I was going to talk about? Oh, the other streams. Let me get. Let me do more alerts. We got three individuals. I'm shy. It says yesterday I finally got around to playing Hell Divers with two old friends, and it was a blast. Two of us started a round. The third came in during the mission, blasting Fortunate Son over the mic, which was hysterical. That's pretty good. I've heard really good thing uh, things about Hell Divers. So maybe at some point I'll get a chance to try that out. Uh, yesterday was April Fool's Day, and there was a Eddie. Fill your family's backpacks with Tiny Eddie's flamboyant crust circle. Don't shove pizza in my backpack. What was the game that was free yesterday? It's like it's it it's like um Lethal Company, but you take you take a video. I don't remember what it's called. Content warning. Yes, thank you, Shanath. Content warning. Content warning was free yesterday, so a bunch of us got it to possibly do a video on it, take a look at it. We'll see. Is it still free? If it's still free, grab it. It's free on the internet. It's probably April 1st somewhere. Until noon? Okay, yeah, you got, got two and a half hours. Uh, open up Steam. Go to Content Warning. Vagabond's got the link for you there. All you gotta do is click Add to Account. It's free. Haley says, crap, I should because I forgot. You should. You only got to click one button, and then it's just on your account forever. So, Chaz is the one who told me about it. Because he's like, hmm, seems like it could be fun for a video. And I was like, okay. So we had uh, a thousand bits from Leaf473. He says, wishing everyone a good morning and good vibes with this Tiny Eddie snack. Fill your family's backpacks with Tiny Eddie's flamboyant crust circle. If you were to just put, like, pieces of pizza into my backpack, I would be, I'd be sad. Even if you, even if it was like a frozen pizza, I'd be sad. Because eventually it's not going to be frozen anymore. Chess says that's earthbound. <laughs> uh, man, I, yeah. No notes. Correct. Mock pizza. Here's your delivery. Okay. <laughs> I love that mental image. We got 17 months from Risen1247, 45 months from Ivar. And a game! New from Retro Studios, Sheik must fight through Dreamland to defeat Pinocchio. Oh! 
That's a bit smaller. It says, hey, Rad. What other game can the PS5 play? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Has Retro been working on Metroid Prime 4? No! They've been working on Sheik vs. Pinocchio. It's my favorite game. Can't I can't wait. Can't wait for that to come out. <laughs> Lies of P and Zelda crossover. <laughs> Are we doing anything with Sheik anymore? Is that just, is that... We, I feel like there's more there. <laughs> there's more to explore there. Yeah, Sheik was just an ocarina. We got... Maybe, you know. Oh, and a Hyrule Warriors also. We need to get like... Oh my god, why is this in the... Sorry, why is this in the playlist? <laughs> Hold on, how do I pull this up? For those that don't know, I mean, it's been, it's been a, I think, a decade this year. Casino Money was made in a hotel room. Like, it's a, it's a pre-existing... Um, the, the music is from the audio library. But, like, I recorded all the lyrics into a MacBook Pro pinhole mic in a hotel room. Coffee. Yeah. Who's doing the vocals? That's me. All of the vocals were are me. The interesting thing about that is that that was during a time where, like, I... I don't want to phrase this as, I wasn't enjoying vacations, but I I was very deliberately, like, living the day and then getting to a place that night and being like, all right, time to edit the things. It really does change... It really does change the flow of a, of a vacation to every night be like, ah, time to spend hours working things are better now I didn't I did not edit anything in Japan that was great that was super great super super great I love that and streaming I, I've said it before but like streaming does not feel like work in the same way that editing feels like work. It is completely different. Like, sitting down to do a stream is, like, refreshing and fun. Doing editing is, like... You, it's gonna take some time. Anyway. This song is fun, but it does remind me of that. It's like, ah, you got to a hotel room and was like, I have to record a song to overlay the casino footage that I shot the day before or whatever. Coffee. Anyway, 100 bits from Gold Lighting. We got 300 bits from Microwave Dallas here. It says, I love that Casino Money is still in the playlist. The song that it that it's from is in the playlist too. Because I, it, you know, like I said, I didn't have time to like make a song. I had to just take one from the audio library. I don't remember what it's called, but it's in it's in there too. Uh, 300 bits from Chai says, I don't know what it says about me that I was... Uh, instantly able to recognize casino money from the first chord. I'm the same way. <laughs> my, I've talked about this a little bit before, but my, one of my favorite things is that when, I mean, us or like any YouTuber uses a song either in like a really notable video or if they repeatedly use the same song. And they're using a song from like the audio library. Like anyone can use it. But after a while, you start to associate that song with that particular thing. And because it's in the audio library and anyone can use it, you will eventually stumble across that song somewhere else on YouTube. And when you do, your brain is like, that's for this! <laughs> and it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Like, it definitely... It definitely happens. It happens to me, too, where, like, I'll use a song, and I'll get a bunch of comments, and they're like, ah, this is so-and-so's music. Like, I recently used uh, a track, it was the track that, like, Technology Connections uses. And, like, I just didn't think about that. And then everyone's like, ah, this is Technology And it's just funny, because, like, no none of us own any of this music. We just use it so it can show up anywhere. But if you use something long enough, then you're like, ah, 
I know what that is. Okay, back to streams. Um, so today, <laughs> at 1 p.m. Eastern, I'm gonna do Loco Roco, I guess, on the PS5. Neat. Um, tomorrow, at 1 p.m. Eastern, I will probably continue doing Loco Roco. So, it's gonna be like back to back Loco Roco. There's no disco in Link tonight. Dan is traveling. So we're gonna do Loco Roco. We might finish it this week. It's totally possible. If not, next week? Yeah. And uh, Friday, Super Mario RPG with Haley. It'll be fun. The most exciting part of that is seeing uh, what Haley will come up with as an outfit. <laughs> No pressure, but she has had a unique outfit every single Friday, so I'm curious what she will do. She has four days. Snack like a classical coral with Tiny Eddie's handsome curry rounds. That's Mr. Microwave Dallas there. It says, Eddie, food me. A classical coral. Uh, Tiny Eddie's Handsome Curry Rounds. I miss curry. Yeah, I looked up in chess. <laughs> Crying over curry. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I do... It's fine. I do miss... I miss J Japan's food. I miss Japan's food. I'll get some, some other time. We will be back. I don't know when, but we'll be back. <laughs> oh yeah, we're in Moleville. When was the last time? No, we, so actually it hasn't really been that long since we played Mario RPG. We played it in January. <clears throat> I think it was like first week of January, second week of January. So it's been about three months. So. And he says, I gotta go to work in a few minutes, so get any Super Mario RPG stuff out of the way. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Friday at, uh, whatever, 7.40 p.m. Eastern, uh, Haley and I will be here doing Super Mario RPG. Um, we, I think we just got to Moleville. So we'll be going through Moleville, Punchinello, riding the minecart. Ooh, I can't wait to see what that looks like in the remake. That's gonna be great. It's gonna be super great. Um, maybe Booster Tower. I think I think in general we tend to move faster than we think we will. So I'm super curious to see what Haley does because the first two outfits have been super unique, super cute. The Balom one was very fun. Um, but there's a lot to work from where we're going to be in the game. Where is, is Booster Tower right after Moleville? No, is it? Is it? Okay. <laughs> I have to, like, if I'm playing the game then um, I'll remember. <laughs> I'll remember things, but if I'm just sitting here trying to like envision the timeline of the game, that's very hard. That's right. You 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 do Booster Tower, and then you chase Booster to Marymore, and then all the stuff in Marymore happens. So Haley's trying to keep the outfits timely to where we are in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Shane says, I hope you get the three-way guy kiss, to be honest. Uh, I'm just super curious to see how the game, like, renders all of this stuff. Um, but that won't be this week. That'll be... in a few months. <laughs> the what? Sorry. If you know, you know. If you don't, you'll find out. 
you can you can what is it you can do you can kiss peach well, mario doesn't kiss anyone mario either gets kissed by peach or gets kissed by bowser or gets kissed by bowser and booster or maybe can you also do just booster i don't know yeah <laughs> right here, Judd. Paul Amory! Oh, yeah! Yeah, that's it. We've already established the in-game lore of Mario being with uh, uh, Mallow and, and Gino. The thing I have to try and remember is is uh, trying to do G uh, the Christopher Walken voice. <laughs> oh, get out! Sorry. It's on shuffle. There's thousands of songs in the playlist, and it's now playing the actual... That's wild. That's very funny. That's very, very funny. I love that. Anyway, here's the actual track. Fly High by Gunnar Olsen. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, so that's... Um, that's Friday. That's Friday. So, on Friday... Uh, tune in for Mario RPG. Beans. Have beans. I gotta get beans updated for April. I'll probably do that maybe today. Uh, it is also a new month, which means it's time for another Patreon video, and I will get to that soon. Probably, uh, pro maybe today? Maybe. Maybe. It's it's a little difficult on the afternoon stream days. So it's it's between today and Wednesday it's a little difficult. I could do it in the evening. Um, the last the last Patreon video was like real big. Um, it's a great one. If you if you are a new patron and you haven't watched last month's Patreon video, you totally should, because it's real good and talks about some things happening later and that you get to see a lot of stuff and it's very, very cool. Highly recommend it. Um <laughs> Noah, are you saying you haven't done the Patreon video yet? What have you been doing? Traveling or something? <laughs> no. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably get to that pretty soon. I haven't... Mm, I hate this, but I have not started editing the Japan vlogs. I wish that I had. I wish I could be like, I'm getting through it, but I'm not actually at all. In fact, the jet lag has been very bad, and I have... I, I, I'm, I'm struggling to... The jet lag hasn't been awful. It's not been super, super bad, because I've had it worse in the past, but it hasn't been great. And it has definitely affected my ability to, like, get started on things. And, uh... I don't have all of the footage set yet. So, like, I have to collect a ton of footage from everyone, and I'm I'm still in the process of, like organizing that footage because the the best thing to do when you're and you're going to edit something this huge is to sort it all out first and i am still doing that <laughs> so i'm gonna keep working on that today <laughs> sorting it all out so i can actually get started yeah yeah it's interesting um I, the, the jet lag hit in a big way at the beginning in the form of just kind of like brain fog. Um, and that's something. And then, uh, beyond that, it's just been like, I will occasionally be tired or occasionally be awake. Like the other night I slept like three hours and then my body was like, time to get up. I was like, I hate that. <laughs> So I went through the entirety of yesterday on like three hours of sleep. Um, and when I went to bed last night, uh, it went pretty well. Because I went to bed at, right at midnight and I slept until I think 7.15. So that worked out good. I got like seven hours of, of sleep right in a row. It'll get better. The thing about jet lag is it improves like every day. So it's, it's not, it won't get worse, but for right now it's kind of a pain in the butt. We got uh, 67 months from Fossix. Thank you, Fossix. Uh, 300 bits from Microwave Dallas Terrace says, I've been jet lagged for years, ever since I visited Hawaii. Don't know why, but my brain never switched back from Hawaii time. 
you should see a doctor. Because <laughs> I've never heard of that. I'm not saying that it's not a thing, but like, I've never heard of that. And it that's frightening. Yeah, or go back to Hawaii. <laughs> that's wild. That is wild. The depression may have contributed. Yeah. That I that that kind of sounds like there's some other things at play because uh, typically, typically jet lag should like re it, it, well, it should resolve as long as you're trying to work on like, well, doing the best you can for for making the sleep schedule better. Um, it should naturally resolve itself. Should. Um, it can take some people a long time because if you do naturally have a bad sleep schedule, which sometimes I do. Um, it can be difficult to, to fix that. I'm hoping that it'll, it won't take me long. But I, I have noticed that it is getting better every day. So, like, I'm not, I'm not super worried about it. Hopefully by the end of the week. Hopefully by the end of the week I'll be good. Yeah. Is it still jet lag if you're just perpetually tired like me? Um... Probably, probably, probably not. <laughs> I'm not like a doctor, but pro probably not. I, um, again, it, this isn't as bad as it has been. There was one time, I don't remember if it was a Japan trip. I think it was a Japan trip. Where my, my jet lag was, like, astronomically bad. Like, I would be doing things, and then in the middle of the day... My, my body would just be like, sleep now! And I'd be like, oh my god. And I'd just fall asleep. Um, that, was, that was the roughest it's ever been. And I'm not dealing with that. That's not happening. Um, so I'm grateful for that. Because that was, that was much worse. That was like... That was a lot, that was a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was 2016. Yeah. Yeah. I don't miss that at all. That was, uh... <sighs> so this is at least better than that. And like, I, after today, I should have all of the footage um, in one spot and organized and backed up. And then I will start to actually work on the darn thing and try to make it happen. I'll do the best I can. I just, I'm worried because like they're, they're complicated and it's going to take a bit and there's, there's other things happening in April, but I'm just going to do the best I can. I will tell you that it's nice to come back from a trip and be able to start on the trip. Like being, being caught up before we went on the trip is nice because I don't have to like get home and then work through stuff to get to the trip. I just get to come back and be like, all right, let's start on the trip. And I like that. Uh, 300 Bits from Night Owl 20 says, Would love some good vibes for my voice this weekend. I'm going to WrestleMania, and it's two days and six hours each night. I'm going to be a bass by Monday. Bass by Monday? Should be a fun time, though. Well, good vibes. You're gonna, you, I mean, you're gonna scream. Because that's what you do at WrestleMania. You scream. But yeah, you, you'll, you'll definitely have fun. That sounds like a really good time. Is that how long? The, I guess, yeah, wrestling... Uh, no, that says I'm normally a tenor. Res, wrestle... I guess WrestleMania, yeah, two, six hours. That's a, that's, a, that's a bit. But that sounds like a fun... That sounds like a really fun weekend. I think it would be... I've never been to a, a live wrestling event, but I think that would be a lot of fun. I think I'd love to... I think I'd love to do that at some point. That would be cool to uh, to, to to look into. Um, and actually, there's uh, there's a lot of uh, like I don't know what the word for it is like indie wrestling events. Slick Duke says, "Didn't you just do that?" Oh, like sumo. I guess sumo does count. Although I was not at sumo. Because I was too dizzy. And I stayed in bed for eight hours straight. Yeah. 
Anyway, there's a lot I didn't talk about on stream for how I was feeling in Japan because I was ill. Um, and I'm, I just kind of was like, yeah, I'm just going to save it for the vlog. But there's, there's quite a few times where like things happen and I just don't participate because I, I couldn't participate. Uh, but the good news is so many other people were there and filming things that you still get to see a lot of cool stuff. So it's th that part's not a concern. Um, so it'll still be on camera, but there was, yeah, there was multiple times where I didn't get to do things. We went to the RioCon and um, I could not go into the bath, which is largely the point of the RioCon. So I couldn't do that. Um, I missed out on sumo. Uh... I did not go to dinner on my birthday. That sucked. Alex and Haley went, and I was like, I gotta go back to the room. I gotta lay down. Um, something else. Yeah, it was it was it was a bit, it was a bit rough. Uh, I hated that. Fortunately, and I'm I, I'm crossing my fingers pretty hard here. I think. Um, I think like since getting near the end of the trip getting home things are getting a little better um i'm still dealing with like the low level dizziness but i i haven't had so much of the like the spikes of like intense dizziness like i was getting on on parts of the trip so <laughs> crossing my fingers that things are maybe going away that would be great that'd be great Brandon says, bath was just okay. Someone was FaceTiming in it. Oh, that's not okay. What the hell? You, you, no? You cannot do that? Oh my God. Man, people like go on vacation and then they, they imagine that where they are is like an amusement park. That's that's the best way I can I can describe that, right? Like people go to a country and they treat the country like it's an amusement park. And like that's not what's happening. This is like a real place. Cuz when you're in the bath, like everyone is nude. So to like FaceTime it's not it, I would prefer <laughs> I would personally prefer if I am in um, a, you know, a bath with multiple other naked people that someone is not, um, <laughs> live on twitch.tuvalu or whatever. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, that's, that, hmm, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Yeah, do not film in the bathroom. <laughs> There are rules. Summer Noir says, is it weird seeing your friends naked? Only for like 10 seconds. Only for like 10 seconds. I didn't get in the bath this trip because I, I didn't feel well. And I was tr I was trying to figure out like why I didn't feel well. And I was connecting that to blood pressure. And I'm, st I'm still not entirely certain about that, but maybe. And I figured if I was in extremely hot room, that would raise blood pressure and that would be a bad. So I decided not to do that. Although when I was at the RioCon, I was also just feeling bad. So that wasn't helpful. Brand says, I only bathed alone on the trip. In the past, like the past times I've been uh, to Japan, like in 2019, um, we did a RioCon um, that had... Priscillium says so there's different phones. So there's onsens, and there's also, what's the word? Sento? So the sent and Chaz can correct me on this because he knows way more about this than I do, but my understanding is that like a um, a sento is like a public bath, and an onsen is either I think it has it has to come from like a uh, hot spring, I believe. Like it can only qualify as like an onsen if it's not I don't want to say, like, artificial water, but whatever. Spring-fed. There we go. Yeah, Chaz says, onsen is spring-fed and sento is just water. So there's a lot of sentos, like, no matter where you go in Japan. Um, 
but the known sin is has like healing properties because it's spring. But like when on the 2019 trip, uh, we did a real con slash onsen uh, with um, me, Mal, Chaz, and Jeff. Uh, so we did the onsen there, and then also uh, we did the there was a sento near our Airbnb that we went to with everyone like twice. Um, yeah, it's only it's only weird for like a second, in my opinion. When every when everyone is naked, um, nobody cares anymore. If one person is naked, it's like, why are you naked? But if everyone's naked, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, sulfur. Who? What? <laughs> at that at that Rio in 2019, they talk a lot about like the water is healing, and I'm like, okay. And the water <laughs> inside of the building, they had part like the water came in, and you could drink it. And they're like, you can drink this water. And like, mm, you could. I guess you can technically drink anything. <laughs> there's a there's a video clip of that from the vlog where like we try it and Ma like Ma Mal tries it and Mal like almost gags. You can drink anything once. It's true. I'm gonna pass on that, but um, you could technically drink it. Anyway, uh, okay, so it's 10. I'm gonna wrap up here on my train. Um. <laughs> Chess! Chess says, oh yeah, you couldn't stand it. I just realized I don't need to let any of you people give me crap about spicy when you can't handle a tiny bit of sulfur or corn. Fair. <laughs> That's fair. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, I mean, I shouldn't eat corn, but also the smell of that corn soup was like, it was terrible. I think I would be willing to try a sip of corn soup if it was hot, but the fact that it was cold was disgusting. That is so disgusting to me. I cannot even begin to describe how awful that sounds. That's so bad. It was refrigerated corn soup. And like, no, no, no thank you. Mm -mm. Yeah. I could drink sulfur if I needed to. Like in an emergency. Like if I had to have an emergency sulfur drink, I could do it. Chaz. Chaz. <laughs> Chaz says, no one is allowed to give me crap about spicy or we will have an onsen corn drink off. Oh, God. Oh, I hate that phrase so much. Uh... Listen. So the good news is, the good news is, I I and I firmly believe this. The more that you're exposed to like spicy stuff, I think you, your tolerance does change over time. It might take a while, but like Mal's definitely did. Because um, Mal, Mal, as a reminder, and the reason we have the pepperoni scale is that Mallory could not eat pepperoni. When Mal and I were first dating, we had only been dating a few months, she came to visit us and we had ordered a pizza and had pepperoni on it. And Mal was like taking a bite of like Domino's pepperoni pizza and was like, ah. and like me and my family were just staring at her like. So, you know, she she did spend all that time in the South and like at a certain point, pepperoni is good. So, well, it's each their own. Um, Spending, spending that much time in the South with so many spicy dishes and, like, constantly being exposed to it, because that, that, I mean, you are kind of constantly exposed to heat. Um, I think that has changed things for her. And it's, it's interesting because, like, her tolerance is getting, her tolerance is getting close to mine. And that's weird, because we had, we had some chips and salsa the other night. 
and uh, Mao was eating them, and I hadn't had one yet, and I had one, and I was like, ooh, that's got, that's got a little kick to it, and Mao's like, they're fine, and I was like, oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, her palate has definitely changed. It only took 16 years. Uh, we got uh, 38 months from Zimmer CJ, 40 months from Lan144, and 9 months from Marionia. Thanks. <laughs> Llamas of Texas, I was born in the South and I have almost no tolerance for spicy food, so I guess you can't win them all. Yeah, I mean, everyone is different, so I, I you know, it, it's not a guarantee, I suppose. But um, I definitely grew up eating spicy food on the regular so it's a it's a pretty normal part of my life although i will tell you <laughs> i know beyond a shadow of a doubt that eating spicy food when you have ibs is like it's not a good idea like when i eat spicy food like bad things happen to me so i i, I do try to keep that in mind uh it does mean <laughs> that I'm a little careful about. But, like, do I still eat spicy food? I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I just, I, uh, these days I try to eat it a little less frequently. Because it does, um, destroy me. So. I know we have to go. Samar says, uh, how are you with garlic and IBS? So, um, I had been tracking my food again. And I, I, I've stopped doing that because I did it the first time I did it, I did it for like four months, and then recently I did it for another four months, I think November through February or something. And uh, I looked at the results after all of that, and the results were basically like, mm, garlic and mm, tomato. So uh, that's something I like think about a little bit. A little bit. Like, we put garlic in a lot of stuff. Um, but it, it could possibly be responsible for some things. Tomato, I, I have always kind of known, like, tomato. Because tomato is, like, so acidic. Um, that, like, yeah. I, I knew that that was probably a, a bad, but garlic was an interesting one. I've also had, like, vague indications of onion, but, like, nothing that's been super definitive for me. Just occasionally when I was doing it, it would be like, onion? And then and after another week would go by, and it's looking at more data, it's like, mm, onion. And then onion would pop back up, it'd be like, uh, onion, though? So, I don't know. I don't know. The thing that I was hoping to find is, like, something that was like very definitively because like corn is corn is different than all those corn like mm -hmm. completely destroys my life and it it doesn't seem like i have any other things that are quite like that um but if i could avoid garlic and tomato and onion like i should probably try somewhat harder to avoid this maybe <laughs> There is evidence to suggest maybe I should avoid it. Interestingly enough, um, I had... I don't want to say I had no bathroom issues in Japan. I just had opposite bathroom issues. And that was weird. That was weird. So, you know, if you think about it, it's like, oh, what are you not eating a lot of? And it's like, well, I wasn't eating a lot of tomato. I wasn't eating a lot of garlic um i don't know there could be something to that my diet was extremely different in japan uh so maybe okay i should stop uh oh, hi bud hi yeah we're gonna get up yeah you dirty clean that spot okay we're good uh all right Thanks for being here. Three hours from now, uh, Loco Roco. Um, if you don't know anything about it, definitely show up. It's it's such a fun, unique game. It was originally released for PSP back in like the early 2000s, mid-2000s? I don't remember when the PSP came out. <laughs> it, 
It came out like a year after the DS. DS was like, what, 2006? Or 8? Uh, around that time. It'll be great. You'll love it. Unless you get sick like Mal did. I don't know. You don't know until you come watch. <laughs> Maybe I'll get sick. It'll be great! <laughs> Alright. Thanks for being here. Uh, see you at 1pm for... Moco Roco. And I need to, like, go get started on something, so I'm gonna dome now. Um, let's see, dome... Yeah, I'm, yeah. <clears throat> Casino Dome Money! Mm, that one... Oh, wait, what was the thing from before? Uh, oh. Trown Claim Dome! That's good, I love Trown Claim. 